If you wake up every day and are doing the job that you're passionate about, you'll be really, really good at it. So go be a change makers, go push humanity forward and go do what you love. I'm excited that like we are for so I mean obviously family is so excited everybody's excited uh, we're all cheering for humanity here uh, this is this is about pushing humanity forward and and just the opportunity to to even be like in this pool of people that could be can, can considered right the entire astronaut corps being ready to go to the moon and and seeing just uh, between yesterday and today, uh, my phone and media and people are excited. Like people that I know that don't follow space, right? Like they're they're probably not checking all the space news websites. Are coming out and they're, they're all super excited. They want to go. They understand the importance of Artemis. They understand the importance of going back to the moon. And people that aren't maybe space nerds or or space dorks, if you will, <laughs> that's a good thing. I'm one. Uh, are excited about going back to the moon. And, and it, we're going to go when we have all of America and all of our international partners excited to go back to them. When, when, when the world puts its mind to it, we'll go fix it. We'll go. I, I'd say it is, it is about change, right? You know, the comment, I mean, I, I do a, a fair amount of interviews and it's always about how do you feel? What do you think? And, and, and those are the, you know, standard questions that people are curious about, but it's really not about me. Like, and, and all of the astronaut corps feels that way. We get those questions a lot and, and we answer them, but it's, it's not about us. Like if it's, if it's me that goes, if it's, it's, it's my friends in the astronaut corps goes, we're excited regardless, because for us, it's not about us. Right. And that's, I think that's comes to the ethos behind why uh, University of San Diego says change maker. It's because it's not about you it's not about me it's about pushing humanity forward and expanding our knowledge of of our solar system expanding our knowledge of earth getting up to the moon and looking back at the earth learning how to operate on a planetary body those that is that is making change for good for humanity and that's what it's about and it's it's not about the individual at all and you know there's 40 some odd astronauts in the astronaut corps but there's thousands and thousands of people who work at nasa who make it go and you don't go anywhere without them because they are critical to the process. They're all change makers here. Oh, Dr. Kim. Do Dr. Kim, the black magic of radio frequency. Uh, so there, there, there are electrical engineers and then there are RF engineers and they're just a, a different special variety and uh, uh, Dr. Kim, I still use RF on a regular basis. Uh, I, uh, I must admit, I still have a ham radio license because of you. I did actually renew it. We're, we're training to use it on the international space station. So I still have a ham radio license, but, uh, what does it mean to me? I think w one of the really cool parts about this job is to reach out and to folks and re and make them understand like that we're like I, I'm wearing a blue costume, but I'm just we're, we're just regular people that want to keep moving humanity forward. And so to hear that you're able to reach back and touch as many people as possible and, and inspire people and, you know, like maybe a student at USD, you know, sees that on Dr. Kim's desk and goes, what, what is that? What's this weird looking patch? And, and then it starts a conversation and they realize that this is something you can do, right? Like, you're, you know, you can go out and do whatever you want in this world. And it starts that conversation to realize that these things like you're only one or two depths degrees of separation away from people that are, you know, all kinds of different occupations. So they just, it just opens up the conversation. It opens up so many avenues. It makes things seem real and, and realizable. Johnny and I, of course, also both Navy. Uh, we're both the United States Navy, active duty Navy. Uh, Johnny and I, I remember, I remember getting the call to be an astronaut and then uh, getting an email shortly thereafter with a list of people. And I still remember, you know, landing in the mainland Japan because I was in Japan at the time, uh, walking and picking up my phone and, and looking up his contact information and calling him and like, hey, dude, we both went to USD. And uh, it turns out we both like shared uh, a mutual friend. So uh, of course, it was a, a, a quick connection, but it's not difficult to connect with anybody in the astronaut corps. We all are explorers at heart and want to push humanity forward. So we're, we're all quick, quick friends and quick connections here. Go be change makers. Go be people who are pushing humanity forward. Uh, we can go do what you're passionate about, because if you wake up every day and are doing the job that you're passionate about, 
you'll be really, really good at it and you'll love doing what you do. So go be change makers, go push humanity forward and go do what you love. I, I want to share so many things about my experiences there, both, you know, from the engineering department, from the physics department, from rowing crew, uh, from being in various clubs. Like it's just, uh, you know, I can't tell you the number of times, even even here, when I'm here now, like, oh, man, I wish I could go do it again. Can I go start college again? Can I go be a freshman again in college? I would love to start that over because I'm a, like a, I'm always trying to learn and uh, I'm always trying to learn new things. And just the opportunity to not have a daily job where you just can just go learn every day. Like it, my my, my uh, advice for college students is just love where you're at. Like you're. You're in a great place to just learn and study and, and just understand the world around you. It's an incredible opportunity. I would start college as a freshman again today if I could. Uh, fear is an incredible motivator. Um, it makes us do a lot of incredible things. Uh, fear causes uh, the glands in your body to excrete chemicals that make you do crazy things. Uh, like you, you know, and I think it motivates you and it drives you to have behaviors. And and what do I mean by all that? I I would mean, uh, that doesn't scare me. I think what scares me, like if if you know, what is the thing you're afraid of? You have this fear that you don't want to let humanity down. In that, hey, you might be the 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 lucky one that gets the opportunity amongst one of the astronauts to go launch to the moon, and you have you know 20 minutes at the end of the day at spare time. You do you pick that up and, and like read a nonfiction book or do you spend another 20 minutes studying your procedure? So you, when the time comes, you throw the right switch to the right down at the right time. Like humanity invested so much in you to get to this point, to push us forward. You don't want to let them down. You don't want to screw it up. Right. Arguably my fear of that is greater than my fear of like dying in the spaceship. So uh, you just don't, there's a tremendous burden that comes down on like not, they've given you this opportunity. Don't screw it up. Uh, it, it doesn't change too much in the near term. I've been already working on Artemis missions for over a year with, with vendors, uh, or for maybe about a year. Uh, I've been working on the landing designs with, in fact, three hours this morning, I was uh, in a simulator looking at different possible uh, displays and how we're going to control the vehicle uh, to land on the moon. And that's going to continue. Like We've got a long, long road ahead of us of engineering development, uh, skills I learned at University of San Diego applying to designing landing on the moon.